All right, welcome back to the next episode of Hearts of Iron with Lipton. Yo, hello. Okay, so last time we finished the phony war and uh, attacked Denmark. They immediately capitulated because they're pussies. And uh, they're now <laughs> the protectorate of the German Reich. And now we've just finished around the Majot line, which is uh, pretty much what it was in the First World War. You go around uh, the very tough defenses of the Majot line here that we can see near Saarbrücken, Metz and uh, Mühlhausen. And we go through Belgium and Luxembourg and the Netherlands. We were pretty prepared for this. Uh, we got a lot of planes ready. We got uh, Rommel ready with a very sizable force. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to give them some medals because I have a lot of political power. Took part in the Siege of Lodz. So some more organization for infantry is always nice. And do I have any medals here? And I, oh man, he actually has two, so he's definitely getting breakthrough and supply consumption. Oh yeah. <coughs> so what is uh, nice? Like I got some really crap light tanks in here. <laughs> yeah, from uh, Czech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, I guess they're better than the Panzer II, so I don't know why... Uh... No, you don't have enough then. Uh, why, do, why do I ha I have... I have 700 of them. No, really? Yeah. Then, then they're better. Really? I don't yeah. know. I haven't upgraded... I think so. I haven't upgraded my light tanks ever, I don't think. <laughs> I think they're pretty shit. Which is... I can't... I guess it's, it is it's historical, right? Because German tanks at the beginning of the war were terrible. Is there anything that we could do to upgrade it? We can actually upgrade the radio. All oh, right, They just have the automatic cannon, right? Okay. They're just really fast. They got some good soft attack. Ah, you know what? I'm just going to leave them like this for now. They're fine. They're fine. I mean, I give... Or actually, can I... Small armaments. What did I have? Automatic cannon. Improved small cannon will add a lot of some heavy attack. I want them to have a lot of soft attack, though. Uh, improved small cannon is pretty good. Yeah, but it's the same soft attack, and it just makes the tank more expensive for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it with the automatic cannon. I mean, it's a light tank. There we go. That's fine. Why didn't it change the... <sighs> that's so weird. Like the... I guess that's what it was called before. And it didn't hurt my production efficiency at all which is good all right and uh, yeah i mean if you're good to go yeah definitely then it is time to first to select a new focus <laughs> which way to go which way uh, i would go? say uh, alliance uh, with italy alliance with italy that sounds like a good plan I mean, it's 70 days, so I will join the war later than historical, I guess. Yeah, I, well, somewhere in May, as you said, June, right? Yeah. yeah. So it will be July, but it's fine, it's fine. It's not too bad, right? Okay, we're going to declare on the Netherlands first. And we're going to... I got a pop-up and I didn't have time to click on my army here. I'm not gonna uh, tell Gudeir. Oh, <laughs> I can just move into these empty provinces here. Oh my god, they, they have. What is going on? What, they're the worst. They have like what? They have three divisions. This is not going. This is not gonna go very well for. Uh, I'm gonna go to Louvard and say hi to your parents. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's cool. You guys say hi to me. What in uh, <laughs> uh, in 1940? You were definitely not alive. No, but you said my parents, right? Yeah. 
Parents definitely not alive back then. No? No. No, my my dad was born, born after the war. Yeah, same as my dad, yeah. Your grandparents then? Definitely. Yeah, my grandfather was fighting in uh, The Hague. Ah, okay. Actually. Oh, you should straight away declare war on Belgium, by the way. No. Well, uh... I mean, that would make it life too easy. It's not historical. Boom, in Luxembourg. <laughs> what? I can't click on... Oh, Luxembourg's not here, never mind. <laughs> uh... Um, still gonna be pretty easy, to, to be honest. I mean, I'm just overrunning this, uh... I don't think it's ever been this easy. Why is it so easy? I, I remember I failed in in Belgium as Germany before, because I had so many troops, but they have very few. Hmm. Oh, I'm also totally overloading this front here with the entire army of Guderia and trying to go through one province. Can I not attack? That's weird. The French Republic called the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg as our enemy in the Slovak-French War. Okay. Oh, I'm actually losing a battle here. Oh, it's just one Panzer Division going over a river. Okay, yeah. You actually already move in this empty province. I actually have to do a little bit of micromanagement, but I didn't want to do that. I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm going to not do that at all. Got another ace pilot. Oh, so I guess I'm sinking a lot of uh, boats here. Okay, there's the first capitulation. A bunch of Johnson and anti-air guns and a bunch of other stuff. Some trains and whatnot. Okay. Okay, so we, so I gotta select this army actually, and then draw a new offensive line. Okay, a another ace pilot promoted. Holy crap! I mean, these these uh, naval bombers are quite busy over here. <laughs> but they, oh yeah, like every time they sink one ship, or oh, or is there a big naval battle going on? Oh, not really. We've been embargoed by the Cuban Republic. No cigars in Nazi Germany, apparently. <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, that is the end of Luxembourg. Okay, how's... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna click play on this because... Who's gonna stop you? Heinz, who is... They're gonna redraw some lines here because these look pretty terrible. More infantry equipment and a bunch of fuel, which is good because I'm running out in 95 days. So, I'm guessing I'm gonna see some movement on the Major line. Are they not scared yet? Oh, what happened? Oh, th this, uh, you gotta, this is dangerous. Like, these battle lines sometimes just get screwed up. And now my whole my, all my old troops just repositioned for no reason. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay. Oh, did I not give these guys the orders? I did not give these guys orders. Okay, okay it looks like the fight here for Western Germany has kind of died down a little bit. How 
big is the airfield at Brussels? I don't know yet. Oh, the fight for Brussels is definitely uh, not going very well, but it's probably just a couple... Oh, wow! Okay, there are a lot of divisions there. Interesting. Yeah. So we're going to micromanage that a little bit, because that was is going to be a very juicy encirclement that I just can't let go. <laughs> Okay, landing crafts are finished. And wait, 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 wait. We need, yeah, we need to do some upgrades over here. More infantry weapons. Okay, and Guderian has pretty much got his goals here as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna redraw his attack line. Yeah, and he's going to start making a push towards Paris. Once his troops have repositioned here. Oh, that's already only a very small airfield. Oh, there's a bigger one there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to start getting some tactical bombers repositioned to go here. Close air support here, fighter wings here. And then get these guys air superiority to here. Okay. Bye, Belgium. Get Guderian to start moving. And then we, I had another army that was kind of just doing dick all here, right? <laughs> It's funny, my uh, my troops are trying to catch up with your panzers, but they are like way behind. Yeah, I see it. They're, they're still, still in Holland. In, they're still in Rotterdam, yeah. Yeah. How many troops at Dunkirk? Oh, it's not going to be the famous encirclement this time. <laughs> no. The, the French left it wide open, man. Okay, all the troops are gone in the Alpines. Mm, yeah, 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 they're, yeah. Re they're probably just uh, very, very, very quickly trying to reposition. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to redraw this battle line as well. I'm gonna try to get also... Holy shit, there's a big fleet of... Uh... Oh yeah, shit. I'm just gonna go ag aggressive here. Oh wow, I have 12 divisions just sitting here. Why are 12 divisions in this one territory? I don't get it. It's gonna be a long fight. Charles de Gaulle defending the Marjo line here. Alright, alright. We've been embargoed by the United States of America. That is not. Unfortunate. Not, 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 not great. Not great. It's gonna hurt hurt our economy n n not at all. <laughs> because everything I need, I'm importing from you or the Soviet Union, because they are my buddies. Because we love the Bolsheviks here in Nazi Germany. We really do. Big fan of Bolshevism. Yeah, the push into France here is going very well. Do I have air superiority? I do have air superiority as well. I love it. I love it. And they still have airplanes uh, in bombing Western Germany. Okay, sure. Yeah. 
priorities straight for the AI there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Danish bells, probably just some subs being sung, yeah, yeah, oh, some British subs this time, nice. Oh my god, I got a lot of ships here ready to be trained up, let's uh, get them assigned to the right fleets. How's the Tirpitz doing? Also ready to be trained up, excellent. The Bismarck is trained up, let's get it into the fighting fleet. And also these DDs, they need to be added. Oh, Kingdom of Sweden seizes Landswerk, which was like a like a factory somewhere in Sweden. A company we operated alongside the Swedish to develop armored vehicles. While Landswerk utility to us has reduced in recent years, it's a clear sign that the Kingdom of Sweden wishes to distance itself from the German Reich. Yeah, I'm not gonna seize any Swedish assets. I don't actually know what ha ha happened here in re in real life, but yeah, I, I have I have pretty decent relationship with Sweden, so there's no need to do anything crazy there. But they don't seem to be too happy with you. Yeah, they're still giving me a lot of resources, <laughs> so I'm uh, not complaining. We go with the British sub sunk. How's, how's this going over here? Oh, look at that. The naval supremacy of the uh, British here is reducing in Eastern North Sea. I love it. Might actually do that uh, Norwegian invasion after all. Okay, so it is uh, going to be the 1st of June, 1940, and I'm going to be in Paris very, very soon in the next week, I'm guessing. These battle lines, like, I, uh, if you're con not constantly redrawing them, it's just chaos. Uh, wh what is going on? Oops, uh, that was too far. Or did I just send the whole... Uh, yeah, don't do that. Just, just redeploy better. Okay, we are... Uh, the Battle of Paris is won already. It was much faster than I expected. I expected us to be uh, fighting here a little bit harder, but uh, apparently I got some Panzer's divisions that just rushed right into the uh, capital. Ooh, but yeah, but uh, now you do see more units from the French. Yeah, I do. I see it. That's why I thought it was going to be, be like a little bit more grindy here, but... Yeah. So this is also like uh, interesting, right? So what happens now is kind of like ha what happened in real life. So uh, a lot of people will say like, oh, it was a huge blunder to not destroy the pocket in Dunkirk. And m maybe it is, maybe it is. But people were, of the Germans were very scared to got bogged down like in uh, World War One. So a scenario like what you see now is uh, just before Paris, the war is not over. Mm. And you can maybe, oh, the war is over. <laughs> 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 Triumph in France! Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice, and our diplomats have prepared terms which they have agreed to. They will retain control of southern France while we are free to occupy the rest. This is what happened in real life. Germany established Vichy France. And then we have the little late news article that uh, the fall of Paris at 636,000 guns plus another 11,000 guns plus 20,000 other equipment, a lot of fuel and whatnot. And the French Republic has capitulated. Adolf Hitler has announced that the cowardly French nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. The German government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and the German Reich is now in control of their home area through the war, though the war against 
what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere. This is a great victory for the Actus, Axis. Great news! So this is what it looks like. Boom. Boom. Oh, wait. We st oh, look at that. There's some... Uh, yeah, I already have troops on the way. There's a French... Or an, oops. Ah. Uh, where, where is that army? Some... Uh, Brest is, needs some serious reinforcements. Okay. Well, I am quite... I'm quite happy. I, I mean, my losses were probably not terrible. 28,000 casualties, 11,000 to France. Not terrible at all. Pretty much what yeah. I lost against Poland as well. The United Kingdom only lost 5,000. <laughs> How much has France lost? It doesn't actually... Yeah, so the good, the good thing is, is for me, is... Uh... 3,000 as well. The good thing for me is I can uh, remove all the troops from the border here. This is now our yeah. my pocket or my puppet. Yeah. Offer of guarantee was accepted by French state. Okay, the French. It's it's not called Vichy France. It's uh oh, I'm still in edit mode. The death of Rudolf Hess, Deputy Führer Rudolf Hess, was killed yesterday when a Royal Air Force intercepted the heavy fighter he was flying off the coast of Scotland. The exact nature of his mission remains unclear. Although Hess was an accomplished pilot, he flew alone and his airplane does not appear to have been armed. His remains were recovered by British authorities, but the state funeral with an empty coffin has been scheduled in Berlin. Hitler was reported to being visibly distraught by the death of his, death of his old friend, that poor fool. That is not <laughs> what happened in real life. That is not what happened. He had a misguided idea that he could fly his plane into Britain and then negotiate a truth or ceasefire with yeah. Britain. And, uh, of and I, didn't they like completely not take it seriously? Like, yeah, yeah, they the thought that he was, he was, yeah, he thought he was just a crazy person, and they just imprisoned him. Yeah, and he actually li he survived the war, right? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, again, now since he died, I get a new political advisor, which is not too terrible. I'm not unhappy about that. So I'm probably going to go with the elusive gentleman, just to get another agent slot. Yeah. Bam, there we go. Okay, on pause it. Or are you doing something? No, yeah, no, no, I'm you? just choosing... Uh, Choosing some upgrades for my Messerschmitts here. Oh, I keep misclicking because my mouse cursor is gigantic when I'm uh, when I'm streaming. Oh, did the, oh, the British removed all their troops. They <laughs> they uh, ran away. <laughs> there are no troops here, are there? No, it doesn't look like it. Interesting, interesting. They uh, so it it kind of in our in our his timeline uh, this uh, encirclement happened at Brest, and they were able yeah. to retreat to across the channel back to Britain, as the English are losing more and more submarines. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, so I'm slowly gonna, I might, uh, as my fleet is uh, recovering, I might be able to get that naval supremacy. What are you saying fuck about? Did you forget something? Hmm? You said fuck? Did you forget something? So the supremacy is better in um, Western Germany. I know. But, oh, yeah, you air better, supremacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better maybe check your uh, what's it called? Your um, uh, repair, your construction. I think there's a lot of stuff to be repaired. Not really, no. Oh, really? Oh, Look. that's that's. I expect that it to be much worse. Yeah, it's been repairing the whole time. I wasn't building much. Okay, so uh, what we could do now is start. I think when did the battle for Britain start? Now, yeah. So there was a bit of a lull, and I think that lull kind of happened because Hitler was hoping or negotiating a um, 
uh, what's it called, a uh, ceasefire? <clears throat> yeah, because Germany and Britain did, did actually have ties, but yeah. those ties were mostly by monarchy, because all the monarchs were quite intertwined, right? House Windsor, he, had a, he used to have a German name, uh, mm -hmm. that they renamed it uh, during the First World War. But still, I think Prince Philip was actually a German as well. So that's yeah, where could I, be. And, and Germany um, really uh, like banned like all the monarchies and stuff. So Hitler was really anti-monarchy. And that's the reason why uh, they want, the monarchy wanted nothing to do with him. Mm. They, uh, they were not his, they were not his fans. Okay, what I am going to do though, is I'm going to tell my ships to avoid the English Channel for now, until we can get that a little bit more secure, and this, we're going to change, okay. How many more of those air support? Oh, perfect, I have a bunch there, nice. Okay, so my fuel is recovering nicely now that the, all my armies have stopped moving. Brest is secured as well. The Spanish state is non-aligned and it's kind of... Uh, I don't think, um, should I put some troops on the border there? Oh, I can't even put troops in Vichy, France, eh? What the hell? I can't, what? I can't get military access? Interesting. So they hate me a lot. No, I hate them. I'm definitely gonna ask for docking rights. So how long until I join? Uh, uh still some time. Uh, some time, yeah. Just some time. Okay, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna make a nice movie to bolster my panel or oh, panorama. It's called. I think it was Yudzus or something. Very racist movie that the Nazis made that was very popular. Huh. Jut Zeus, nice. yeah, very, 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 very racist, or anti-Semitic, I should say. Hmm. Okay, so this is here, let's go to where, I don't know, I guess I'm just going to put them here. What, the questions of Protecto de Illyria, okay, uh... Okay, this is supposed to be uh, the question of Yugoslavia, I think, this event, but since it's now your puppet, it changed it. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 I think I remember this message. It's Yeah, it's tell to tell the Yugoslavians that they have to make a choice. Either they stand with us, or they will be swept away. They're going to stand with us, I think. So, there's no need they to... They better do, be. Uh, there's <coughs> no need to do anything there. Okay, but, you know what? Since they're... Oh, nice. I got a new recruit. Karl Sturm. Start building that. Oh, yes. I know what focus I need next as well to be a historical thing. Also need some floating harbors. That's going to be important. And I got some empty military factories. Oh, that's good. Um, basic. Oh, right. I forgot to design a new air improved carrier airframe. I'm just going to give this a couple of heavy weapons and some good engines and a night flying panel radio navigation. I'm going to replace that and I don't have the new torpedoes researched yet, I don't think. No, so we're going to wait. 
But what we can do as well is we can redesign a new anti-tank cannon and it's a small bomb bay. So a new Junkers Kanonenvogel. Yeah. You, by the way, you can upgrade the plane version or the plane uh, industrial thing. Yeah, I, I noticed. Yeah. Yeah. So dive brakes is something that's really good, and then click on that as yeah. well. There we go. That's a pretty good while plane, I guess. That's a really good plane. Yeah. We're gonna improved air support. There we go. How am I doing for aircraft? I got uh, still a lot of. Yeah, yeah, only old fighters in reserve, so. Ooh, crap, that, that really hurts my rubber production. <laughs> uh, but it's, I guess it's only uh, hurting the plane productions that I have really low priority on, the carrier planes, which I don't. I don't really need a lot of, do I? Actually, I have a 20... Oh, because I have one f I have one deployed here, right? Okay. Or is another aircraft carrier ready? Ah! Another aircraft carrier is ready as well. Excellent. Okay, get that trained up. How many... Uh, oh, I have to wait. Okay, so the British are sinking my... Mm -hmm. Oh, actually my planes are there defending my subs. Nice. Okay, so the naval supremacy is actually dropped. Okay, so this is great. So what we can actually do is we can plan the invasion of Norway. Oh, wait. Nice! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, how long do I have to wait? Oh, a month? God damn it. I forgot to... Uh, 6th of July. Okay. <sighs> Will I do it without a floating harbor? Hmm. kind of want to invade them with a floating harbor. That's going to take too long. Okay. Let's, uh, let's plan it without it. All right. All right, <laughs> so that should be 21 days. Okay, yeah. Actually, I could uh, do... Uh, yeah, let's try. Where is, where is my... Hey, wait a minute. Uh, didn't, I, didn't I build more of these Falschimiga? Oh my god, they're still not done? Holy crap. That's taking quite a while. Hey, wait a minute. Why is this outdated? Uh, oh, wait. Uh, yeah, that's the C version. God damn it. Everything's so slow. <laughs> uh, 
I, I mean, yeah. Now I'll let these train for a little while longer. Look at that! So many uh, ships being sunk. That is good for the German Navy. That is now finally able. So I spent a, I sent a lot of spies into Japan to see what they're lacking in their stockpile equipment, but I, I don't know how to get, like, if you, in the Intel ledger, I don't know how to get up specific things, like total army intel is at 25%, but I really don't know how to get that higher. I guess the network needs to be bigger and bigger, but... Hmm. Uh, it obviously you, makes sense. You but... can do, like, operations to increase your army intelligence like infiltrate uh, really? army i could try that it's yeah like... and then you get army intelligence for that for doing that event like thing yeah oh. my my overall uh intel is still low so maybe I, I think that is the big issue i think that is the big issue but I've got I've got three spies over there now, so that should improve the situation. I'm I'm gonna place a fourth as well, just temporarily. So it's going to make my submarines a little bit less visible, okay. Yeah, that is very effective. What is? These uh, naval bombers are still quite effective. Uh-huh. It's sinking submarines. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could actually import probably some rubber from you, can't I? Yeah, let's do that. Thank you. Here you go. I should. Yeah, my my rubber thing should increase quite a bit. Got a little bit too much going on. Okay, so, so in the Benelux, actually, there's a lot of aircraft there. Do I have any that are not doing anything right now? These fighter wings, let's get them here. Get them on air superiority, or what do I have here? Fighters, okay. Send these guys home. Training. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't, I'm still doing improved worker conditions. Okay, well. I think I'm gonna wait for the invasion of Norway, Operation Visa Übung, it should be called. But it, yeah, is, when, but it isn't, it's yeah. called Taubenschlag. Mm -hmm. But actually, it was. Isn't that, isn't that like Thunderstrike? Uh, Taubenschlag is like one of those little bird houses for doves, like a dove house. Ah. Mm hmm. Yeah, so actually, there is. Um, Look at that. That's a that's a pretty picture of the German Reich spanning from the Soviet Union to the Baltic uh, to the Atlantic. From the Baltic to the Atlantic. Okay, I'm going to actually take a risk here <laughs> and see if the British take the bait. But it doesn't look like they're taking the bait yet.
No, it doesn't look like it. Oh my god, look at that. It's payback time! It's payback time. About a year ago, you sank all of my subs at the exact mm -hmm. same position. Exact same so what square, is, is naval that, square. Is that fleet including the... Um, so what is the battle cruiser? What ship is that? The Gneisenau Scharnhorst. Are there battle cruisers? Oh yeah, and the battle ships is there Turpitz and Gne of a... These two are. Oh, right. uh, it's Bismarck and Schlesien, and that is Schleswig-Holstein. Yeah, one. and who should part of the fleet? Uh, oh, right! That's a good call! Thank you! Mm, I was looking at it, I was like, hey! Yeah, the Bismarck is definitely the pride of the fleet, but it's... Oh, I don't have enough political power right now, I need a hundred? That, that, oh, that's obviously... Oh, because I lost Rudolf Hess! Oh my god! Yeah. Obviously you need a lot, and a lot of political power to change the pride of the fleet. It's such a big step. Yeah, I mean, you can't just decide to do that, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're a dictator, but but anyways, you you, you just got to console the whole country, like, hey man, can we make this World War ship uh, not a pride of the fleet anymore, and just super modern ship, Bismarck, can we call that? And you just... <laughs> Yeah, I would do like a referendum for that, really. <clears throat> yeah, but, I mean, you probably it's probably gonna take quite a while uh, to make that decision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people need to be involved. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. Uh, Rommel just hanging out in Brittany. He has a lot of troops that are... You can actually just train train him the rest here? Yeah, you can. These guys can also train up. I have a lot of armies that are just sitting around here doing absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't even if you want, you can speed it up to two speed, by the way. For me, I don't know if you're doing anything. Eight sub sunk. Yeah, I'm thinking, nice. I'm thinking the British fleet, that's what I'm doing. Oh, there's another naval combat. HA! DIE! DIE! <laughs> How did they die? Like, by your ships or planes? Uh, Graf Zeppelin? So, that's naval definitely... Uh, yeah, well, so what is a naval bomber? And one was actually sunk by the aircraft carrier. By naval bombers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the other one was just yeah. sunk by the naval bombers that are patrolling. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that is that is great. Uh, wait, what's the time? I think this is a good time to end the episode, actually. We're at 42. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, that, because uh, the Fall of France is a good name for this episode. It's an excellent name. Yeah, so this is pretty much uh, got to be the height of... Uh, actually, no, this is starting to be the, I guess, if you can call it that, golden age of the Third Reich. <laughs> Yeah, they had defeated France. They were uh, in 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 our in our reality. They actually invaded. Um, they had already successfully or were fi successfully fighting in Norway. We're about to invade Yugoslavia and Greece. And uh, I think 1941, 19, the end of 1941, that was when they were the most powerful. Yeah. And then with the invasion of uh, Barbarossa, Operation Barbarossa, that all went a little bit downhill. But we will get to that in the next episode sometime in the future. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you uh, for watching, everyone, and we'll see you for the next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.